All right, welcome back. Now, uh, for many of you, a day was yesterday, and I know some of you would have celebrated. Some of you thought it was just a holiday as it was a Sunday. But <laughs> you know what? Sunday. This is what we have. Uh, and, of course, the green man shared this with us. He's bought this from a store in Bangsar, if I'm not mistaken. Modern technology owes ecology an apology. Now, it's pretty much of a mouthful there, but it's very, very <laughs> pertinent. Very true. Very true, very pertinent when it comes to, you know, what we're doing to our Mother Earth today. So let's talk to the guests in the studios to find out more about how you can actually have a water heater that's green. Okay. Uh, let's welcome back uh, Matthias Galba, Lohas Country Manager, Lifestyle of Health and Sustainability, as well as his friends Ken K. Eshpu, Managing Director of Sears Technology, as well as Eastwood T.M. Chan, who is the Technical Director of Sears Technology, St. Amber Heights. Good morning. So, what is Good Sears morning. Technology? But before that, let's speak to our green man. I believe, well, Earth Day, of course, you're going to have yes. a lot of things happening. Yes. What you happened last yes. week? I got this actually in one Kiara, <coughs> uh -huh. uh, Just Life, which is a very well known eco friendly supermarket. Mm -hmm. We've got a couple of uh, shops, I think one is in Mid Valley, mm -hmm. one is in Ikano Power Center. So um, they had an expo and I, I discovered this, which is very similar to what I actually I use. Uh, my business cards are made from palm fiber waste material. Mm -hmm. This is actually not paper, this is uh, palm fiber waste. Wow. So you can have all sorts of gadgets at home. And I love this kind of uh, statement up yeah. here. And I think this fits very well today with our technology here as well. We've got an eco-efficient technology that saves money and saves electricity at the same time. But I discovered something else. I went to... Yeah, I gave, he's got his gadgets. <laughs> yes, I have a plastic bag with me. You do! Wow. And you the do. amazing thing about this, I discovered it yesterday. I went to the Earth Day event at uh, U8 in Shah Alam, mm -hmm. where we're going to have a tree planting as well next Sunday. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I thought, wow, this is amazing. A plastic bag with zero plastic inside. This is a Malaysian product made by starch material oh. and it's 100% biodegradable. <laughs> it's biodegradable. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah. we've got bags now that don't have any plastic because plastic comes from oil, petroleum, mm. right. non-renewable resource. It doesn't biodegrade easily. This is biodegradable. I think two months after, you know, it might end up in a waste. It will disappear again. That's true. So, That's you know, true. we have mountains and countries on the ocean building up just from plastic waste mm. that people, humans throw away. So this is a, a, a new way of actually having, I mean, I prefer the reusable bag, obviously, that should yeah. be the yeah. first choice, but if you still need there. those, yeah. you know, I mean, this is a, a, a better alternative to, to the normal plastic bags. So it is, it is. Of course, I think the reusable bags are always much better than, yes. than anything of the sort, because if you have them, then it just, you know, it's, it's completely multitasking, isn't it? You use them for almost everything, even mm. your shoes, your... I don't know, a whole lot of stuff. Yeah, I bring my heels in my usual bag. We do. Okay. So let's let's talk about you know what we're here here today for with Sears. Uh, maybe we can get you know Mr. Chan or uh, okay. one of you to tell us a little bit about Sears technology. Okay, basically we have the latest innovation technology. Mm -hmm. yes. So this product is a breakthrough technology. Basically, first in the world, mm -hmm. we got it international patented. Wow! It's a Malaysian-owned technology. It's a water heater that mm -hmm. we create all types of category which we have uh, residential, mm -hmm. commercial, mm -hmm. up to industrial package. Okay. So it's only powered by a 12 volt DC. Mm -hmm. 12 volt DC is something like a car battery, can power up the whole system. Mm -hmm. As well as we have our 240 volts, mm -hmm. which the beauty part is we don't use any heating element to produce this hot water. Therefore, it's very, very safe and very, very green. Wow. Actually, I remember I saw them two years ago at KLCC yes. uh -huh. and I only recently met them again when Stephen actually recommended this company uh -huh. uh, uh, to bring them into the show. Yeah. And I remember two years ago, I was with an American friend at KLCC at an exhibition and I thought, wow, this is an amazing product, Malaysian innovation. You don't actually have the heating element anymore and you get hot water as hot as with the heating element. Mm -hmm. So you're saving loads of electricity and that is really the great contribution. You can have your hot water, but your electricity bill goes down. I think roughly 60%, right? Exactly. exactly. And I that means so. loads of CO2 emissions because that electricity. I, yeah. I have to ask. I, I know a lot of people have this, this question on their hands and minds right now. And I'm quite sure the viewers want to know, what's the ka-ching ka -ching on this one? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're talking about something without the heating elements and you're talking about something that is very, very chanky mangy looking, you know, what's the... Uh, What's the ka-ching on this one? Well, this one is uh, our latest design, mm -hmm. which we're going to launch at the uh, end of this month, mm. doing a, a, do a soft launch, which is a very, very uh, low power compared to conventional water heaters using about, uh, this is an instant water heaters 
yeah. uses about 3,006 watts. Mm -hmm. And we are using only 1,005, which is, means a 60% lower energy consumption. Mm -hmm. Besides that, no heating element, that means no risk of electrocution mm. while showering. Ah. So and therefore, it's very, very safe. <laughs> Well, we don't want to put you on the spot here, so a rough idea. It's about uh, 700 plus. There you go, ringgit. that's you know cheaper than a lot of stuff out yes, there. Yes, of course, and your ROI, the beauty part the ROI is, Less than 13 months. There you go. You should have that right there. ROI. That's what you guys <laughs> want to remember. ROIs. Okay. Now, okay. Um, so, no uh, heating, heating element. elements, so no uh, risk of electrocution you mentioned. Exactly. Can you tell us about this apparatus that we're seeing here? Yeah, oh, especially as, the one that looks like something came out of Titanic. Yes. As, <laughs> as you can see, this has already been corroded because uh -huh, of uh -huh. Malaysia is hot water, because yep. most of our Asians is hot water. Mm -hmm. So, um, the water has uh, easily has been eaten up all the heating elements. Mm -hmm. So we have actually live wire, as you can see the, the behind of this heating element, it has, there's live wire right. connecting mm -hmm. into the heating element. So the, once the water has been corroded, it will actually ease up the heating element and inside is connected with the uh, live, co live wire. Right. So that's how it cl creates uh, electrocution. Let me, let me just get the camera, if the camera can just zoom into that little gadget there. Uh. There you go. That's what the live wire is talking about. It looks like something that came out of Titanic, but no, it's not. <laughs> you know? That's how it normally looks that's like. That's how it normally looks like. Yes. Yes, because that as compared to what I'm holding here with an ROI. Check it out, Malaysia. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now let's talk about uh, the, you know, beautiful awards that are sitting in front of us. Mr. Mr. Chan, maybe you can tell us a little bit about this. Yes. Uh, okay. These are the awards actually. Uh, mm -hmm. We uh, really have the pleasure and being honored to have uh, a a recognized by all these bodies mm -hmm. and organizations like MINES, you know. And uh, these are all for the invention for our technology, mm -hmm. the latest technology. And this is uh, the Asia Cup, mm -hmm. the yeah. tallest one which uh, we compete among Asians. Mm -hmm. Then there are somehow rather 500 to 600 participants. Mm -hmm. All over the world. All over wow. the world. Wow. And uh, we got the Gold Award Fantastic. out of it. And these, uh, special, these two are the invention awards, mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. individual and the group. Mm -hmm. And also, this is the WIPO Award, World Intellectual Property Organization, mm -hmm. which uh, they have coincided with this uh, Geneva and the KL. Mm. So they award us this Go Award. Wonderful. Fantastic. Excellent. Well, congratulations. That's mm. quite, quite a feat out there. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. Um, yeah. Okay, so uh, do you mind if I ask you what you were doing before this and why did you decide uh, hot water heaters when you wanted to dabble in green business? Okay, well, because uh, previously we were, both of us were in aircon line, centralized aircon. Mm -hmm. So, um, and before we started invention, uh, we came across a lot of newspaper, you know, like for example, last year about uh, June till December, we have four cases of people have been electrocuted while showering. Mm. So, in based on statistics, um, we are talking about every one and a half months. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, happen clean one lives. So life is so precious. You see, we l especially our family, our loved one. You see, mm -hmm. so people fear of being showering, taking by conventional electrical water heaters. Mm -hmm. So here we are. So both of us have some discuss. We be able to do. We start our R and D, mm -hmm. and uh, thank God, God bless us with the ideas. Voila. And <laughs> <laughs> Voila, they came up with something as cute as this. I think that is exactly what the Malaysian vision of 2020 is about, to come yes. up with local innovations mm -hmm. that help the planet, mm -hmm. that are commercially viable in the domestic market and then internationally as well. Mm -hmm. I think this is great to see it. And when I saw it two years ago, I was kind of thinking, wow, and it's great to see that you guys are going places and that yeah, you guys you are doing well. You and you know he's always yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's yeah. talk about this as uh, compared to some of the other uh, water heaters out there. Um, how different, I mean, we know that it's, it's you know, uh, environment friendly. We know it's go green. Um, but if somebody's out there saying, look, I already just installed a major water heater in my house, and mm. apparently those, the manufacturers have assured me that, you know, I'm my consumption. I'm not going to die. Well, yeah, I'm not going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to get electric. <laughs> I'm not going to have any problems. My consumption is not going to have a problem. So how would you then, you know, compare this to that? Mm. What, what, is, what, is, what is that one outstanding thing that you can assure people out there? I mean, I'm quite sure a lot of them are already using their regular water heaters mm. in the house. So what can they do, you know, to change yeah. their mind? Mm. Okay. Uh, 
Well, this yeah. can be... Either uh, one of you. Yeah, <laughs> anyone, anyone. Uh, this can be actually retrofit into any kinds of water heaters because uh -huh. conventional using very, very high power consumption, mm -hmm. you see. So ours one can be retrofit anytime. It can be replaceable. Mm -hmm. So number one, you're actually saving energy. Mm -hmm. Number two is actually your contribution, a green product back to the society. See, number three, that's the most important thing. Safety for our whole family. That's mm. true. Yeah. That's true. That's what about good. compared to a solar water heater? Okay, solar, because um, we, we have four versions of water heaters. If it's solar, we're going to compete our big one. Mm. Um, solar is, great, is good, it's considered green. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, lack of consistency during rainy times, mm. night time, even though in uh, cold weather, solar can't produce yeah, much hot true. water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So basically, our product is actually, we are using an ambient air. Mm to extract the heat from ambient air, mm -hmm. we have an electronic device which is create the differences of temperature, mm -hmm. immediately passes through our heat transfer and to transfer into the hot water, to boil hot water, right. which that means any type of weather, nighttime, rainy days, it works 100% consistency. And yeah. I mean, in theory, you could connect it to a solar element that Definitely. produces the electricity and then from a DC with a 12 volt, you could actually power this one as well with solar if you wanted to. Yeah. But exactly. I guess, you know, the, the, the main thing here as well to take into consideration for people who make a decision, the electricity prices will go up in Malaysia That's sooner true. or later. That's I true. mean, you can't keep subsidizing all the time. Yes. And uh, so the ROI will actually come down in the future as well once those electricity prices are going up. Mm. Uh, and uh, I think this that's is what's a future a lot, trend. That's what's on everyone's mind, mm. isn't it? What yes. do you get in return of what mm. product that yeah. you buy and how environmentally conscious can you be? Sure. Um, let's talk about where the availability is. Where can we find this? Uh, is it out in the stores? I mean, is it a particular store that you have? Um, well, basically, we have all the uh, electrical appliances uh, like uh, Ing Seng Heng, mm -hmm. we have that. And um, you can go to Better Living Imuda, mm -hmm. uh, where by, uh, there are sanitary appliances. Mm -hmm. Most of the uh, sanitary appliances that you can get. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. Brilliant. Now, I think Sears has come up with a very interesting innovation. I mean, it's something that a lot of people would not have gone into. But you are rest assured that the competitors are now going to be hounding and trying to figure out how they can match up to your level. I'm quite sure about that. So where to from here? Um, what's your other little, you know, brain waves coming in? Is there anything that's coming up in the pipeline? Yeah, we have uh, actually, um, at the end of this month, after launching uh, a soft launch of this uh, instant water heaters. Mm -hmm. The next one we come out with the clothes dryer. Oh, yeah, clothes um, dryer. Clothes dryer, talking about 60% um, energy saving. Mm -hmm. And uh, hopefully we can come up in something like aircon without compressor, oh, mm. running on minimum power. Hopefully, hopefully. hopefully. Yeah, I, li I like the last one. Yeah. <laughs> Minimum power. I mean, every yeah. one, one yes. horsepower aircon, 750 yes. watt consumption. Yes. That's really what most people's electricity bill is about. Yeah. I think this might be number two, the water heater in terms of electricity consumption, yes. together with the fridge. But these are the big ones. Yeah. If we can do something about, please come up with, uh, <laughs> with the aircon system. That's what we need, yeah. definitely. And, and you guys are from the aircon background, so there you yeah. go. Yeah, yeah. Well, coming yeah. back to Matthias, maybe yeah. tell us a little bit about what you've been up to in terms of campaigns. Uh, now, Earth Day just passed and you mentioned yeah. to us about what you did for Earth Day. Yeah. Uh, what, what else is coming up in your area? Um, the big one that's coming up is a tree planting in Shah Alam. Mm -hmm. We're expecting a couple of hundred people and I think two, three thousand trees. Uh, the main meeting point is actually not that difficult to find. It's the U8 mall in Shah Alam okay, and that's a very interesting... Yeah, that's a very... Okay, ah, you know that area, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, and it's a very interesting building. It's like the first eco mall in Malaysia. Yeah, the right. big fans. Yeah, they have big fans in there and they have a huge indoor area mm -hmm. where they are not using any aircon. Wow. And that's quite an achievement. They do some rainwater harvesting, they have some solar on the roof. So they've tried to implement some green features in the building. Mm -hmm. And uh, tree planting will just be outside there, so the meeting point will be there. Mm -hmm. uh, I think even the Mint Professor will come along and plant some trees. So there's going to be loads of action there in Shah Alam in the U8 Mall. Mm -hmm. Then yesterday, uh, because it was Earth Day, I attended four different events. Wow. I started <laughs> off in Templars You've Park. You were busy. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I, I gave a talk there on how we can go green and reconnect back with Mother Nature. Right. Because I think often the, the, we are disconnected from Mother Nature. Mm -hmm. You know, we have 
lost the relationship with the trees, the plants out there. We live in a concrete city, mm. so Templars Park was a beautiful uh, surrounding for that. Mm. And make Earth Day every day, yes. you know, make it holistic, a practice in every day. The things you buy for your house, you know, when you uh, buy gadgets, when you buy food, think about green and healthy, the Lohas lifestyle. Mm. Then I went to a, a TV screen, it was not TV screening, a movie screening, mm -hmm one day on earth it was a movie from all over the world all countries participated a collage of all sorts of different actions wow. that happened on the 10th of october 2010 10 10 10 yes. and uh, the funny thing was i appeared in there for five seconds with two of my <laughs> friends <laughs> and it was you know i saw myself and it was over at the same time you but were like i know that person <laughs> yeah. but it was about the tree planting that we organized yeah. on that day oh, to contribute really? to this global effort mm. so then i went to the u8 mall i gave a talk there on how we can go green and then i finished off with uh, you know discovering this and some other nice gadgets mm -hmm. at uh, one kiara there was a earth day expo mm -hmm. uh, organized by just life and one of the most beautiful things there was they had 1500 paintings from malaysian school children mm -hmm. from all over kl Aww. who had painted on those paper bags that they use in the us uh. it was apparently something a trend that started in the us <coughs> and those paintings were so beautiful mm -hmm. kids you know uh, talking about how we can save the planet you know painting the animals painting the trees and you could see the emotional connections that kids have with the planet. Brilliant. And that is really the challenge for our viewers out there, That's you true. know. What can you contribute to make your kids have a beautiful planet in the future? Yeah. You know, that was so touching. I think they're still there. If you can see those those bags, I was really touched. More. I was really touched. Well, the one thing you can do is actually buy one of these gadgets and start <laughs> implementing that in your house. There you go, the water heater, which is going green. And besides that, of course, uh, make sure that you try to contribute in some little way or the other. Water harvesting, there's a lot of ways that you can do. Check out Lohas, maybe that's, some, uh, that's the area you can actually find more information. Yes. Gentlemen, we'd like to say thank you very much for joining us this morning you, and bringing this to us. Thank you. Thank, thank you very, very thank much. You so much. Thank you, Mr. Chan, Mr. Fu and Mr. Gelber. See you again next week, hopefully. Uh, <laughs> that's all for this segment. We will be back uh, with more. We're talking about the Fast Beats campaign. Now we're with... Uh, Zaleha in Thailand? That's right. Take and a break. Uh, yeah, all the way in Checking Thailand. Jewelry, yeah. I know. We'll you be back after this. <laughs> See you in a bit.